Hi there everyone, this is Westbound for Westbound Music again. Taking from the feedback to my last video, I think that drummer was of interest for at least some of you. There was some uh, debate about whether or not um, you get close to a real drummer. My point is, you know, before you actually shell out money for a real studio drummer, you have to be clear about your vision, you have to be clear about the project and know what you're doing and how to communicate effectively. So. You know, in order to check things out and try things out, I think drummer can get you some part of the way and then eventually for the real recording, if you have a budget and if you're, you know, on a production budget, then of course uh, there's no better thing but actually call someone up who knows what they're doing. But again, for um, practicing and rehearsing and demoing, I think drummer can be very useful. So let's go back. Um, I put the... Uh, link to the description of the first part in the description below. Um, here we want to look at some of the features that I alluded to last time but kind of got hung up on it and didn't really, you know, uh, have enough fluency. So let's try this again. What I did, um, okay, I need to switch off this here and bring up logic. Yeah. Now we should see my project. Also, what I did uh, as opposed to last time is create a different view on the on the interface here so we get to see everything that I'm doing. All right, um, we had this little scene, this action-packed scene, and I wanted to have the drum groove supported by a 4x4 four four downbeat, really driving rock drummer, and uh, we selected our kit, we elected, selected our drummer, which is uh, Kyle, by the way. Uh, yeah, here, Kyle pop rock we chose for the drum pattern or drum groove that's called four on the floor exactly what I need here but as opposed to last time what I did as homework was to create a little intro fill here um, by adding just one uh, fourth note or one beat in a bar, uh, a bar of only one beat in order to have drummer then start out on the downbeat in the next bar. So these are little tricks that you can use in order to have drummer sound even more musical. So that's a specific time signature here with just one beat and then once the action really starts we have a regular 4x4 four four. and uh, let's listen back and see how that sounds. Oops. And also for the ending same thing I have a little shorter region with uh, the ending and also what I did was uh, create a time signature with uh, 16th notes so that when we have the complex uh, pattern playing along it really gets really complex like it plays really a lot of notes so here's another little trick okay what does it sound like let's give it a listen and solo time. Forgot to decycle, uncycle. Okay, let's go to the ending real quick again and check it out. So, where are we here? Yeah, it's maybe not perfect, but it's pretty much you know on on the cue here on the you know this little thing, this little figure falling and. Uh, that is accomplished by creating a special time signature, shorten the region to just uh, half a bar or even just one beat in the bar, and have drummer play something really complex with a lot of fills, 16th note feel, a lot of ghost notes, driving, pushy feel, hi-head more open than close, you get to also put it in autopilot and have it play automatically. But um, I chose in favor of a little bit more open hi-hat instead of the closed one so that we have this really driving beat. Okay, um, now 
onto the routing, I mean to the um, mix bus or drum mix. Let's bring up the, yeah, that's where we're at. Hang on. Uh, this is a really large project. It's hard to keep track. Okay, once more. Yeah, that unfortunately happens. So now we're looking at the mix bus here. Four on the floor. This is where drum where the drum track is placed. Um, and this is the kit. And there is uh, the kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, and so on. Each of those can have their own uh, channel EQ and uh, compression and you know effect sense and whatnot. The important thing is that for the producer kits we I have to go to the first track um, for drum kit designer in the, in the producer kits it creates not a stereo output but a multi output. This is important you have to keep this in mind Whatever happens, uh, if, if something doesn't work out, then check the setting. Go to the first track in your drum mix. Uh, go to the plugin, Drum Kit Designer, and check that it's set to multi output. This is very crucial. And now, all the other tracks here, they are basically stereo tracks. I think we have like eight or so. So it's uh, eight times two stereo, 16. Because multi output is, I think, uh, limited to 16 tracks here by default. I could be wrong, but I think it's 16. And um, yeah, and then kick in is drum 3 and 4, kick out is drum 5 to 6 here, snare top drum 7 to 8, snare bottom and so on. And uh, the interesting bit is not only do you get to have um, specific um, you know, sound shaping features for each of those tracks, which is what we want. Like, like in a mixing console, you have uh, your, your tracks for kick drum, snare, hi-hats, toms, overheads, and so on. Not only that, but uh, we can mix and match the drum kit. So if I double-click the drum kit designer, it gives me that interface here. And now I chose the stadium kit, which is like a real heavy rockish kit. So if I click on the kick drum, it uh, provides me with a selection of kick drums to choose from. You know, for example, birch punch. Yeah, that's even that's even stronger. Can turn up the gain here for this one. Dampen it some more. Same for the snare. Click on the snare. Yeah, that's a brassy, high, metalish sounding snare. Let's check out one of those others. Oh, what's with that? Yeah, it's a treat. Oh, this one looks interesting. Oh yeah, modern chrome. Okay, turn the gain up a bit, but dampen it because it's too you know, reverberant, so we want to dampen it as much as possible. Much better. Yeah, um, tom toms, high tom, floor tom, the other floor tom, okay, works for me. Symbols, right symbol, let's choose modern bright. I like the symbols to sound bright. And this one here is a crash symbol, modern dry, Modern bright as well. Yeah, that sounds good. This one here, also modern bright. Hi hat, modern bright works for me. You get to tune and you know uh, tune up or down each of those parts in the kit. So really like miking up a, a, a like miking a, a, a real professional drum kit. Also, and this is for you who actually play the drum themselves. If you click this little triangle here at the bottom, it says input mapping GM, which means uh, general MIDI. 
or you could manipulate any of those parts with the drum uh, with the mod wheel for example to have some more attenuation and, and, and um, articulation is the word I was looking for some more articulation for the hi-hat or for the snare for example if you playing brushed snare or something and you get to connect a v-drum which is I think per my understanding an electronic drum kit that sends MIDI notes to the drummer so you get to choose those kits available here have your MIDI drum kit connected to your audio interface audio MIDI interface and then play yourself along if you wish to so this is really I think this is really crazy crazy great <laughs> all right um, I think this is basically it for now let's listen back to this once more yeah I'm f I have a pretty old machine so unfortunately this happens a couple of times once more That's exactly what I need to have, like a really punchy drum kit with a with a um, high snare, high sounding snare, and a and a deep but dry kick drum, and all of it, and, and the hi hat half open like a real rock drummer. I don't find anything wrong with that, and if you think you can do better, like I said, I just showed you, connect your V drum, and go ahead, you know, and use all these features in there. Okay, if you have questions, I hope this uh, was useful to you, gave you some more ideas as to how to work with Drummer. Um, let's take a last look at the mixing uh, console once more here, just to make sure that you fully get the uh, benefits of this. Like we have th the whole kit here, then kick in, kick out, snare, top, snare, bottom. This reflects mics for snare top and snare bottom and we have only one mic for the high end which is enough one for tom high tom mid tom low then we have the room mics here and uh leak i think you know what that is like there's always a little bit bleed from one track to the other in analog times at least there were and that's called leaking or bleeding actually so if you want that to have for some ambience that's also here by default and if we had percussion play along then there would be tambourine shaker hand claps and so on and so forth and for the whole thing here again we have two specific sends or bus inserts which uh, manipulate the drive and compression for the whole kit separately from the rest of the mix and i think you can't get more um specific and more uh what's the word i was looking for um well more professional and more diverse than that so yeah again hope this was helpful if you think it was then please subscribe ding the bell to get notified about new content i'm gonna go back to my project now i'm gonna leave you with this for a little while and you know, let you experiment but drop me a note drop me a comment and let me know whether this helped and whether you have specific questions Okay, Westbound for Westbound Music. Hope you like this. See you again very soon. Bye-bye. Thanks.